Growing up in South Korea in the 1960s, opera singing wasn't a popular pastime, but for Sumi Jo, it was a path already set out for her. My destiny was already, you know, made because, you know, my mother clearly wanted me to be an opera singer, so there was no choice. Her mother, who was unable to realise her own dreams of being a singer, was a devoted fan of Australian diva Joan Sutherland. Everything she sung, she knows by memory, and then somehow, you know, I, I'm the same. So Australia for me is like the second home country. Sumi Jo has come to Australia to perform a repertoire of love songs alongside Argentine-Australian baritone Jose Cabo. But her shows aren't just about her voice. And this is called you know, Black Swan because you know, somehow you know, love uh, is passion, but at the same time, love represents also the pain, love represents the sadness. She's come armed with five specially designed couture gowns. People want to hear the beautiful voice, beautiful music, but at the same time, they want to see the beautiful things. In Adelaide, Sumi Jo will perform with a full symphony orchestra. The orchestra will also play a couple of um, orchestra-only pieces. I think that actually also gives Sumi Jo time to change into different costumes. Ahead of opening night, some die-hard fans got the chance to meet her. As a student who grew up with listening to her music and seeing her name on textbook in Korea, and I'm a Korean myself as well, so yeah, it was a fantastic chance for me. After performing in Adelaide, Sumi Jo will travel to Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane. Alina Ecott, ABC News, Adelaide.